I'm joined here in our studio now by Emergency Management Director and Riley County Fire Chief, Russell Stuckey. Russell, thank you so much for joining us here this Friday morning. Pleasure to have you. Glad to be here. And it's great timing to have you on our show as well. We're exactly now halfway through Emergency Preparedness Month. Can I have you go ahead and speak on why having an Emergency Preparedness Month is so important? Um, we're at the change of the seasons, and so winter's right around the corner, so it's a good time to review that you have your family and your household and your vehicle prepared for the winter. Yeah, and, and kind of on that note, there are some kind of uh, steps that should be in, in those folks' mind, you know, for the, the car and the homestead. What are some steps to say ahead of some emergencies? Uh, one of the basic things is make sure you have your family plan, and so everybody in the household knows what to do in different scenarios, whether there's a, a bad storm, a blizzard, a flood, or a fire and know where to meet and how to get a hold of each other when the normal lines of communication aren't uh, available. Yeah, and one other kind of aspect that uh, we, we've kind of found out about is, is having a, an emergency kit for the home and the vehicle. What are some of the most important items that would make up an emergency kit? Well, like I said, going into winter, you know, it's uh, cold weather is right around the corner. and Having a blankets, um, some food and some water and all those kits, you know, especially your home kit, you want to be prepared to be able to survive for about 72 hours. That's typically when um, help can arrive in, a, say, a bad we winter weather scenario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotcha. One other piece of emergency preparedness we wanted to touch on that you have some expertise in fire preparedness. What's something that those at home watching should know about that topic? Well, first and foremost in the home is smoke alarms. So you want to be sure and have your smoke alarm uh, tested and fresh batteries, you know, change your clocks. Change of batteries is always a good rule of thumb. Um, like I said, with the cold weather, space heaters, um, it's good to have a space heater around, but you wanna make sure you don't plug that space heater into power strips or extension cords. They need to be plugged directly into the wall. And then as far as fireplaces and, and wood stoves, you know, they're good things to have, but they take maintenance. You should make sure you have your chimney flue clean every year and, and inspected by a professional. You know, heading into this change of the season, like you're mentioning here, for anybody watching at home, what would you recommend the biggest takeaway that they should, you know, have from our conversation here? Um, just be aware, be aware of your surroundings and the weather forecast. Uh, make sure you have signed up with, uh, whether it's local media outlets or your uh, county's notification system. Um, most counties uh, in Northeast Kansas have some sort of notification system, so you can be aware of whether it's uh, road closings, impending weather, evacuations. Um, so yeah. check with your local emergency management office and see what the best way to get contacted is. And then having your NOAA weather radio um, program for your area is always a good thing. Yeah, and kind of on that note, for those you know watching at home wanting a little bit more information about the best way to stay prepared for these emergencies, is there any resource online that you recommend checking out? I would go to your county website first and go to the emergency management page and uh, find out what your local uh, emergency management office has to say. And then FEMA.gov and ready.gov are also very good resources. Perfect. Well, Mr. Stuckey, thank you once again joining us. Such an important topic, such an important awareness month to be here for. Thanks again and uh, stay safe heading into this upcoming fall season here.